everybody. So we, our class this morning is on nitric oxide. So I'm doing two things that are kind of fighting each other. So here's my morning coffee uh, to help me increase my blood pressure probably. And here's my nitric oxide <clears throat> drink to help me vasodilate and help my coronary arteries. So hey Brandy, um, so what we're doing today, I keep alluding to this, I've talked about nitric oxide. I teach about nitric, nitric oxide in my uh, physiology class because of so many things that it does. So it comes up about every third or fourth chapter where we spend a little time talking about each part of the body or system of the body or organ and how nitric oxide affects that. So uh, since I keep talking about it uh, without really actually telling you about it, um, I thought I would tell you about it because uh, there's been some kind of exciting developments in nitric oxide uh, research. So here's the background. Okay, so it's a very simple molecule, nitric oxide. <clears throat> it technically has a free electrons, which makes it a free radical, but it literally is made inside of your body, specifically in the endothelial cells. It's also a neurotransmitter. It's a gas. Um, so it, it uh, does its thing. It's made, does its thing, vasodilating, and then it's gone. So it's really hard to measure. <clears throat> so um, nitric oxide previously was thought to just be a pollutant from cigarettes and car exhaust systems. Uh, but then in 1992, <clears throat> the journal Science nominated, it, nominated nitric oxide as the molecule of the, of the year. Okay, so it was discovered that really nitric oxide <clears throat> plays a really vital role in your cardiovascular system. And <clears throat> for years, scientists have tried to figure out, okay, so how, how do we fix this blood pressure thing? Um, is there a substance in the body that helps smooth muscles relax? Uh, and a guy named Robert Furch got, I hope I don't screw up that name. Um, he died in 2009, uh, 2009 at the age of 92. He did a lot of this research. So, <clears throat> so <clears throat> uh, nitric oxide is chemically known as NO. That's why the topic or the, the title of this little class is No News is Good News. Okay, so it typically dissipates before it can even be detected, so it was really hard to figure out. Uh, so this guy that did all the research on this um, uh, compound um, was given the Nobel Prize in 1998 for physiology and medicine for that research. And really his research uh, found that the number of functions in the body, including the cardiovascular system, also include brain functions, so cerebral vessel dilation, um, as well as penile erection. So nitric oxide is the neurotransmitter that actually allows um, blood vessel dilation to cause, to cause uh, penile erection. So without the discovery of this, there would be no Viagra, Cialis, any of that stuff. So that's kind of how, um, uh, how vast the, uh, the mechanism of action of nitric oxide is. So nitric oxide is synthesized precursor is L-arginine, which is an amino acid. So back in the 80s, <clears throat> a lot of people were trying to figure out, okay, so if we take L-arginine, so this research is coming out in the 80s about nitric oxide. The precursor is L-arginine, so L-arginine uh, was felt to be a useful supplement. So over-the-counter, helping to treat atherosclerosis, uh, because they were finding out that increasing your nitric oxide level improves circulation all through your body. So not just, I mean, just everywhere. It's endothelial cell, so that's the inner lining cell of blood vessels, produces nitric oxide from L-arginine or from arginine. Okay, so, <clears throat> of course, they tried to patent L-arginine powder. That didn't work. Uh, they wanted to basically sell it to cardiologists to help uh, with coronary heart disease patients. And also, uh, others promoting it for the enhancing sexual effects of blood flow to the male and female genitals. So the problem is, arginine has some limitations. And if you take it orally, it gets degraded so much that you very, uh, you have a little bit of a boost of nitric oxide production. Um, <clears throat> but in order to sustain that, you had to take L-arginine multiple times a day. 
So a guy like me taking five blood pressure medicines, I'm used to that, uh, to taking multiple supplements and my meds and all that. But not a lot of people can do that. They hate taking pills, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm showing you <clears throat> this breakthrough, really, <clears throat> for um, doing um, nitric oxide boost is to drink it. So I always tell people, if you can drink stuff, you get a better absorption rate. And that's exactly kind of what happens with this nitric oxide boost thing. So if you can boost your nitric oxide by drinking it, <clears throat> um, that seems to be the breakthrough that everybody's been uh, trying to get past the L-arginine um, breakdown by arginase. So there's an enzyme that breaks down uh, uh, L-arginine in these uh, intestines. So you're gobbling all this arginine and you're not really getting any huge benefit. So <clears throat> there's a new formula <clears throat> using a low dose of arginine to sustain a higher arginine level. Uh, plus a berry a uh, berry extract so this stuff is great tastes like a tastes like weak grape kool-aid it's not fizzy and it helps it helps stabilize uh, the cells that are making nitric oxide so really the berry extract <clears throat> by itself was shown to increase a validated measure of circulation so even just the berry extract helps with uh, circulation and then the berry stabilizing the endothelial cell helps block arginase, um, <clears throat> um, arginase uh, breakdown of arginine, okay? So basically you can take this together uh, and boost your nitric oxide levels. So nitric oxide supports that inner arterial wall. It's also a neurotransmitter, okay? So it is the mechanism by which men sustain an erection. So the question is, can you instead of taking Viagra, you know, Viagra and Cialis block an uh, block a uh, an enzyme called phosphodiesterase, which breaks down cyclic GMP, which is needed for the dilation um, of the arc, uh, of the circulation of the penis to allow erection. So erectile dysfunction is always about blood flow. I just had a conversation with a guy yesterday. He's been on testosterone probably, <clears throat> I'm going to say, eight months or so. Uh, he is about 300 pounds, and he gets working on his weight. He's 66. He gets working on his weight, <clears throat> and then he puts it back on. So he, he really wants to, to work a sustainable weight loss and weight maintenance thing. He's also worried about the fact that some of his, some of his penile length in other words, he's shorter than he used to be, and I said, "Well, you're not shorter. You just can't see it. You got three. You know, you got you've got weight just above your pubic bone." So the motivation for him, I told him, was if you lose 25 pounds, you'll see one more inch of erect penis. So theoretically, 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 if he lost 100 pounds, uh, he would have four more inches of erection. So we talked about <clears throat> Cialis and Viagra and the mechanism of action for that because he's taking his testosterone and he is still having um, not as firm of an erection so he has kind of a mild to moderate erectile dysfunction um, that may respond just to boosting his nitric oxide um, and you know Cialis and Viagra works uh, over time it actually makes erectile dysfunction worse um, <clears throat> but it does seem to work for a while. The problem is it's a systemically given medication, so it works all over your body. So I told them, you know, some men get headaches from the vasodilation of Viagra, and some men see blue. They have a blue tint to their vision. It's like they have blue sunglasses on. So <clears throat> he wasn't too excited about that. So I think uh, what we'll try is trying to boost his nitric oxide while he's working on his weight. Okay, so <clears throat> the berry that I'm talking about is Arona berries. Okay, and so scientists have, you know, in the last 10 years have really worked on this hard to figure out how to in increase nitric oxide so that you can get the benefits of a very quickly uh, synthesized and quickly cleared neurotransmitter and vasodilator. So it's a fairly potent vasodilator. Um, <clears throat> and overall, um, it's just a simple way to um, improve circulation, okay? 
Um, so it's a natural substance. You're not taking anything. You really can't take nitric oxide. You have to provide the uh, substances and the molecules for your body to actually uh, make it. <clears throat> so production, like everything, when we're talking about hormones, this one's a you know this one's a neurotransmitter and vasodilator. They decline with age, so you decrease your production. Okay, so that is why, of course, people as they get older start having problems with uh, atherosclerotic heart disease and um, colder fingers and feet, and you know diabetics have to have to watch the circulation in their extremities. Uh, so theoretically, nitric oxide would help with <clears throat> the diabetic microcirculation deficit that occurs from sugar, um, you know, inadequate sugar metabolism, right? <clears throat> so the consequences, if, you're, if your blood vessels aren't working, is you diminish that circulation, your blood pressure goes up, okay? So hypertension typically is a per, uh, men and women in their 60s, sometimes 50s, sometimes younger, thrombosis, Okay, so you get clots in your blood vessels since nitric oxide is released when there's damage. Um, it's part of the clotting, ca clotting cascade and uh, helps with uh, platelet function. <clears throat> uh, you can get atherosclerotic vessel disease from nitric oxide reduction in production, right? Um, <clears throat> and then it's also involved in macrophage activity, so it has an antibacterial role. So the little cells that start out when you have an infection, viral or bacteria that start trying to gobble all that up, um, works in uh, concert with nitric oxide, right? Okay, so the endothelium again is the inner lining of blood vessels. So when nitric oxide is produced from that inner lining, it signals the blood vessel to dilate and widen to improve to improve your blood flow, right? <clears throat> so if you get that endothelial cell dysfunction, the first thing you get is an increase in peripheral vascular resistance. Okay, so that raises um, that raises the res resistance to blood flow against the heart. That goes back to the heart. It's sensed by the heart. It's sensed by the kidneys. Okay, and so the blood vessels with <clears throat> endothelial cell dysfunction are unable to dilate and sometimes constrict as needed. So you get reduction in blood flow, and you get arterial stiffness, higher blood pressure, then the plaque, then the inflammation in the arteries. All of that we've talked about before, leading to cardiovascular disease. Okay, <clears throat> so it's pretty common. So endothelial dysfunction, remember heart disease is the leading cause of death in the U.S. So that dysfunction appears to affect about 30 to 35 percent of people with no prior history of cardiovascular disease. So theoretically when, you're <clears throat> when you get into your 40s and 50s when that production starts lowering, if you could continue to help that production, potentially you might um, avoid atherosclerotic heart disease and some people think you might actually be able to reverse it okay okay the other <clears throat> so the other things that raise uh, heart disease risk you know being elderly so I'm almost elderly I guess I turned 60 in August I don't really want to think of myself as elderly so I don't even know exactly what that age range is but most people Kind of think, well, you're kind of getting a little old if you're 60. Then diabetes, which I told you, that, you know, insulin dis well, insulin resistance is 100 million people in the U.S. And then obesity and smoking, <clears throat> and then family history, which you sort of can't do anything about, but there's a blood test that'll tell you if it, you're you're at risk. And there's some supplemental stuff you can do to reduce that familial risk. That's fairly new. And then we talked about high cholesterol before and how to <clears throat> reverse that and what it really means. Uh, I saw my doctor yesterday. I told, told him my cholesterol level. He's the guy that said your cholesterol sucks last year. He still think it's, thinks it sucks. But based on that research of 60-year-old people, I think I'm kind of right there in the normal range, especially when you look at my um, ratio. So my ratios make my heart disease risk in, you know, no higher than normal. Okay, <clears throat> so can we increase the amount of nitric oxide and possibly stop and even reverse endothelial cell function? Apparently, maybe we can. So you can't really take nitric oxide as a supplement, but you can take the precursor. So it's got a short half-life. 
it does its thing, then it's gone. Okay, kind of like when we talked about the endocannabinoid system. Your endocannabinoid system makes cannabinoids for the use that it wants, and then it's gone. It doesn't just hang around, neither does nitric oxide. So the precursor again, L-arginine, and now they have a way to, imp uh, to increase, the, increase dilation. This is from the International Journal of Cardiology. Single dose of just L-arginine or placebo. So this is bef before this new variation. So just L-arginine seems to increase med uh, dilation of a vessel from 1.7% to 5.9%, with each 1% improvement in flow reducing cardiovascular events by 12%. So theoretically, if you can get your L-arginine to not be broken down so that it can make nitric oxide, um, every 1% increase in blood flow equivocates to 12% reduction in cardiovascular events like strokes and heart attacks. So theoretically, you could reduce your risk of those events with a sustained elevation of nitric oxide so you would be reducing your risk factor by 50%, okay? So there's long-term clinical studies that just L-arginine can lower blood pressure and reduce symptoms. Now there's a better form of that, okay? <clears throat> so here's the gobbledygook med uh, word medicine um, stuff. Um, so they've added to L-arginine inositol stabilized arginine silicate, okay? which makes it more bioavailable and absorbed in the bloodstream after you drink it. Here's my drink, okay? So those blood levels of L-arginine with this way of doing it increases one hour after you drink this um, glass. It's eight ounces with a little powder, okay? It inhibits arginase. That's the thing that breaks down arginine in the digestive tract. So that way you have more entering your blood circulation, right? And then it's com it's also combined with aronia berries. That's what gives it the great taste. Small, part, dark purple berries. They're native to North America. And then just that berry can improve um, the lining of the arterial uh, blood vessel wall function. Okay, so it's the precursor needed to form nitric oxide arginine. Um, so now it's more bioavailable as an oral dose, okay? So <clears throat> what it does is modify an enzyme called endothelial nitric oxide synthase, so synth, uh, synthesized synthase. So this type of preparation combination is improving the conversion of L-arginine to nitric oxide with all the good things that that could potentially do. Okay, <clears throat> so those two ingredients, the inositol, inositol um, stabilized arginine plus aronia berries improves blood flow through vessels. Okay, so there is a, uh, I'll um, put some links, once I get done, I'll put some links down. If you want to read about this, those of you that like to read science, you can find everything I talk about, I can you can find. So... Um, I'll put up a link that has um, references so that you can see those. So in the meantime, I'm going out of town for a few days. I will pro if I find an internet connection where I'm going, I will be on Friday morning and we'll come up with some other cool stuff to talk about that's not nasty and yucky like everything on the TV um, uh, at 9.30 Friday morning. But in the meantime, I'm going to get ready to go and I'm going to finish my nitric oxide drink. And I will talk to you Friday. See ya. Thanks for joining. Bye. Peace and health.